Hello and welcome to Adobe Live. Today is a special stream. We have Jeremy Wynn here. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> What's good, Anna? Oh, everything's great. Everything's <laughs> awesome. Everything is awesome. Uh, we've got some friends in the chat, by the way, we want to say hi to. Hi, Cody Bear. Hey, Sean. Hey, oh, I can't pronounce that name, but I love that you're here. Thank you for being here from all around the world, everybody. Uh, and thank you for being here for this very special stream. This is going to be very unique in the Adobe Live world. We are going to be starting right now with step one, start drawing a greeting card, and we're going to switch back and forth each other's artwork so that we can work on them together. This is a very cool collaborative kind of stream. So we can just jump right in and start. But Jeremy, I really want to know who you are and how you're doing and everything. So could you just as we start to draw, give a little quick intro to who you are? Absolutely. Yeah. So my name is uh, Jeremy Nguyen. I'm an illustrator, cartoonist, um, I do a lot of cartoons for The New Yorker. Um, and yeah, I've I live in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I'm currently at my neighbor's apartment working on <laughs> uh, these drawings. Shout These out to neighbors. Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Selvi, running production and offering a full on studio. Thank you, Ryan. Round of applause. Woo. Round of applause. Killing it. <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah, it's just been a great day so far. I've been running around buying Christmas gifts and everything. Oh, cute. Um, already? Yeah. Well, I guess already. it's not as early in the morning for you. You're in yeah. the East Coast area. So, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it snowed a little bit yesterday, so it got me in the mood. Wow. Oh, cool. Yeah. Are you prepared for it? Um, I'm I'm okay with snow. You know, I grew up on in California, as mm -hmm. you know, but um I have started to become a a crisp, you know, a, a wintry person. You know, <laughs> I bought like a a big North Face jacket finally after months of not having one. So Oh my goodness, you gotta have one. Well, yeah. I also support uh Columbia and Columbia. <laughs> all of our Northwest brands and stuff like that. But yeah, the um I mean the Patagonia right is very is nice crazy. too. <laughs> <laughs> Just name your favorite brands. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the uh the outerwear is very important for this time of year. So absolutely. Uh, do you do like full parka? Like I'll wrap my head in like a giant stole, a giant scarf. Amazing. Um that's that's my whole deal lately. <laughs> I mean I love yeah. the idea. Okay, so should we bring that into our greeting card here? I was oh, sure. toying with the idea of making like a really oversized uh, scarf for like a little kitty, little kitty cat. <laughs> sure thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just starting with like really uh -oh, loose sketching. Nope. <laughs> there we go. And Jeremy's starting with breaking Photoshop, <laughs> <laughs> which we should mention we are using Photoshop today. So if you want to draw along, this is a really fun little exercise. It'd be great if you found like a partner to switch back and forth uh, file with, because that would be a perfect way to like mimic what nope, we're doing nope, here. Nope, nope, nope. I know <laughs> I'm, I'm Ryan's presets are all fun and games, but uh... <laughs> Oh, so it's a Ryan thing. Okay, it's we can blame Ryan, Ryan for whatever thing. we need. Speak of the Is devil. And he oh, hello. Is it bouncing <laughs> out for whatever? No, I, I accidentally used the lasso tool and cropped things. So. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. <laughs> yes, that was my <laughs> fault. Yeah, friend here if you need help, let's see. Yeah. Everyone, Ryan cameo, if you had it on your bingo card. Boom, yep. you nailed it. <laughs> he, yep, he's going to come in a lot. <laughs> prepare for more it's bingo excellent. knocking off <laughs> by the way wade is in the chat saying ryan hype so you know we've got supporters yeah. in club wade everybody's a fan of ryan <laughs> by the way wade i saw your yule log video which is amazing i love it uh jeremy if you haven't seen these they're on Adobe Live's uh, YouTube channel, you can see these hour-long Yule Log videos that different artists made, and Ooh. they just loop animations, and Wade's is amazing. It's got a crackling fire, of course, front and center, but then right in front of the, that. the fire is a little sleeping dragon with, like, smoke puffing out. It's amazing. <laughs> I love oh, that. That's it's amazing. Good. So I'm drawing just a few little like things to kind of get in the idea of holiday stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of paraphernalia or whatever you want to call it. And so I think uh, that's that's my way of starting this approach. What are you thinking for this concept? 
<laughs> I was just thinking of like different holiday characters and I don't know I'm I've I've got this yeti going on now I love that he's got like the Santa hat like is he <laughs> if this is the Santa Claus but the yeah. yeti is becoming uh -huh. Santa Claus this time instead of Tim Allen yeah and <laughs> now he is possessing the snow girl I guess <laughs> I have no oh idea. <laughs> yes. I love it. And I left his mouth open just in case he, we want him to say something. I think we want him to say something for sure. Of course. Yeah. This is how cartoonist brain works where it's just like, all right, what stupid joke can we make out of these dumb drawings? Absolutely. So cartoonist, yeah. uh, can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about what you do? Yeah, so I uh as a as a New Yorker cartoonist, my brain is constantly thinking of jokes um out in no the pressure. world. Just be funny. I know, right? Just be funny. Just turn <laughs> it on. Yeah, just say something funny. Uh and on, yeah, fine. so whenever I'm drawing, I'm just like, all right, what what snowman is gonna be in a therapist couch on a desert island, maybe dying? Classic, um, classic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe dying. <laughs> Maybe oh, dying. Excellent. Perfect Yetis. for, you know, holidays mm -hmm. where you're like, oh, comfort. And then exactly. <laughs> Why does Santa come down the Chris the chimney? How does how does Santa come down a chimney if if uh, there are no chimneys in New York? <laughs> Absolutely. Have you seen mm -hmm. there's this uh, new children's book that just came out from John Classen and Mac Barnett that's called How Does Santa Get Down the Chimney? And it is <laughs> hilarious. Like, that's incredible. I love that. <laughs> there's my so favorite. Ways. My favorite Christmas song is a Sharon Jones and the Dap King song, and it's called Ain't No Chimneys in the Projects. <laughs> <laughs> And Amazing. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. And it's all about how Santa can't visit the projects oh, when there's no, no chimneys. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Right? It sounds like it's a hard knock life from like any kind of style of just oh, like, yeah. who's Santa? Can... Wait. <laughs> Santa Claus never mm -hmm. comes. <laughs> it's a or Santa Claus we never song. see. Santa Claus, what's that? Who's he? Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's so sad. I love this cat you're drawing. Wow. Oh, yes. Amazing scarf. I want to do just like wintry cats. Now these are, <laughs> I feel like just whenever I'm sketching uh, to begin with before like a warm up, I should have sketched before this is just becomes so janky. <laughs> and, like, <weird. laughs> just, just like cats, mm. but I'll warm up <laughs> and loosen up and the cats will get better. I like these snowflakes because they look like uh footnotes <laughs> it looks like i have something to say at the bottom <laughs> it's you like have something to say yeah, for sure not so to well, scale the, snow <laughs> the snowballs on top of the snowman's head just going off the page <laughs> at least in our <laughs> view i can only see it just going zoop forever mm -hmm. amazing So how are you celebrating Christmas in California? Well, actually, we're going up to Oregon. Or Hanukkah. For, uh, <laughs> yeah, or Hanukkah, any denomination, yes. yes. Uh, we celebrate family time together, uh, which is, I am so looking forward to because I just recently moved to California from Oregon, and mm. I'm going back to visit the whole fam in Oregon, and I cannot wait to see them. I nice. have a bunch of uh, nieces and nephews who are waiting for scarves that I am making them. <laughs> amazing yes uh so that's my plan do you have any plans so my brother's birthday is christmas day <laughs> no oh I'm so <laughs> shout sorry. out to chris if he's <laughs> his name is chris my parents my immigrant parents are very creative <laughs> um, chris on christmas oh my yeah gosh. That's amazing. Um, so my sister-in-law I've I tell this story everyone but my sister-in-law we set we definitely celebrate his birthday uh mm -hmm. way more than we celebrate Christmas <laughs> um yeah oh, and so happens. I know it's it's a thing gotta 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 make the birthday boy happy yeah he's he's he'd always get two gift or one gift for both holidays one um, gift for both holidays is the, yeah, the, the curse, right? It's so sad. And then nobody would come. We can't have, you know, birthday parties because no one's in town for him. Oh, that's so sad. So, oh, my goodness. So I'm so sorry. I am drawing him now. 
Yes, in honor of Chris. Okay, it's not Christmas, it's Christmas. Christmas. That's a great. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas. See, you're 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 on your joke. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh-huh. You've got some jokes. Uh, by the way, we've got some more friends in the chat. Anthony Sims, who is my best friend in this world, uh, he is in the chat saying hi. There is joy in life again, he says. Wow. Alessandra says, uh, hi, Anthony, and how are you? And also here, <laughs> Ryan is in the chat. Ryan, how are you? So many places saying, uh, I'm well. Lots of f- fun planned today. There's going to be streams <laughs> for the next three hours. Oh, my goodness. Oof. It's a streaming day, everybody. You better stay tuned Oof. in. It's the season to stream in. It's true. Honestly, a lot of streaming is happening and it's very exciting. Uh, Later today, there's going to be like a family feud style stream for a lot of the regulars here on Adobe Live. I am super excited for that. Going to stick around for sure. All these things to look forward to. Ryan, you Mm -hmm. can plug whatever in this moment. It's perfect. (laughs) In this moment, you are infinite. (laughs) Alessandra says, uh, Chris deserves two gifts. Yes, I agree. Yes. Everybody around the Christmas time with your uh, birthdays, I feel like you deserve just as much as everybody else, obviously, <laughs> but also maybe a little bit more just for the pain of it, because you know, you know, at some point somebody has been like, this is for both. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'm trying to think of like what animals normally don't enjoy christmas because i'm thinking of like don't enjoy christmas yeah because they maybe they don't live in a christmasy setting so i want to give some some love to some animals maybe from the sahara desert animals oh we i was gonna say uh, i had an idea for an elephant last night for oh, sure. this illustration and you mentioned mm-hmm. an elephant before we came on so i was just like <laughs> oh my god um i was thinking of an elephant skiing and would its trunk trail out behind it or would it be like tucked into <laughs> a scarf or something oh that's amazing yeah <laughs> would it would it sway in the wind <laughs> would it wobble to as it's from? yeah That's uh we've a got a point. question from adobe live itself saying jeremy how long does a new yorker cartoon normally take uh it takes only about an hour to draw but wow. to come up with an idea it takes days weeks Forever. years <laughs> yeah who knows i mean like there will be times where i come up with um jokes that I just don't think are good enough or like ideas that I want to do something with but you know I I haven't come up with a joke yet like you know maybe I think of um you know how people are starting you know millennials and regular people and not just Gen Z is is talking about Riz and I'm like all right Riz <laughs> is in the zeitgeist it is the it is a, the Oxford Dictionary Word of the Year or something. Really? Um, yeah, Riz wow. is is popping off this year. Um, you know, Martin Scorsese is understanding what Riz is, so it is penetrating if the culture. Martin Scorsese understands, then you're behind. Yeah, the if you don't. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Grandmas are learning about it, so. Um, that'll just bounce around in my head for, you know, weeks and weeks, and then maybe something will come of it. That's so Um, creepy. So you have to make, like, so the ideas are purely yours, and then you find, like, a way to fit them in, or do the, the, does the New Yorker say, like, hey, we need something on Riz? (laughs) Nope, the idea is purely from us, which is one of the great things about the New Yorker is that, you know, they're not asking for us to you know, include Riz in a cartoon or uh, make sure you do a cartoon about elephants this week. It really just <laughs> comes from us. It allows us to have a voice. Oh my um, gosh, I love your elephant, by the way. <laughs> it is the scarf. Oh, I made it a scarf. Yeah. <laughs> amazing um yeah. by the way i have to mention something to ryan my photoshop just crashed <laughs> so Uh-oh. i am going to uh restart just le- giving you a heads up okay you're gonna see uh my yeah. well i don't know actually it'll probably just turn black for you guys for a second yeah. Is that all right i've got to pull my weight 
on this stream all by myself. Yeah, you gotta pull a lot of weight right now, Mister. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Black. We will see what happens. Uh, I will send you a new link i think for it uh but you guys i filled the whole canvas with pixels i did it i'm done <laughs> <laughs> yes you captured the moment right before you wake up christmas morning that is the piece of art that you Imagine made just you now a greeting right card. before you wake full, up full black all black full black <laughs> <laughs> like hey why not, it's like, right? we need to think about political issues today <laughs> <laughs> on Christmas morning. This is an all black greeting card. Obviously, gotta mm -hmm. do it. Uh, okay, I'm setting up the window again, blah, blah, blah. But uh, while I'm doing that, can you tell us how many iterations that it probably takes for you to get a, uh, a New Yorker comic? Oh, oh. It's time oh. to switch. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're swapping. I'm sorry. I have nothing to give you. <laughs> an all black canvas. Uh, yes, an all black canvas. So my concept that was going on <clears throat> is um, cats wearing like winter outfits. Okay. So say oh, like. Uh, I can't hear Anna right now because she's in your ears. And <laughs> yep. Yep. In the room. We're talking so, about cats. Ryan's talking about back. Cats. All right. So I'm just going to. We're going to. Oh, did you want to send this one over, right? Yes. Let's send okay. this one over. Right, absolutely so i know. need it i need it so goofy yeah. everyone who's here i hope you remember this <laughs> <laughs> the time in this photoshop just like you know cited nah mm -hmm. uh by the way we've got z by hp saying hey everyone uh what have you cooked up today ryan he's cooking up and a then, storm she, not, man. she can't There's send so you anything much. right mm -hmm. so are you just gonna start another one What's that? She, she can't send you anything. So are you just going to start another one? I guess I'll just start a new canvas then. Yeah. It, it'll just yeah, be the Jeremy ahead. show. Yeah. <laughs> it's all okay. Jeremy all the cool. time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right. Then it's all you. Uh, Anna got it, right? So she should. Uh, yes, good. I did. Yes. Good. See, this is the importance of saving your canvas yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. Save as and naming your files. See, now I don't have any cats to work with. Okay. That's fine because I'm a dog person. <laughs> Ooh, get it. Dress a bunch of dogs in wintry clothing and pretend mm -hmm. I did it. That's what yeah. I said. All right. So do you have any direction that you want uh me to go with for this piece? For the for the like, Yeti for in it. Snowman? Go for yeah. it. I think it, you know, you could erase the snowman and put something else in the Yeti's hands. Mm-hmm. You know, you can re re reduce. Uh, I'm sending a new link post haste. Sorry, I'm trying to get it all done. Beep. Window, boom. Should be good. Okay. Sorry, technical stuff. Oh, fantastic. It popped back in. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, awesome. Ooh, nice. Hey, and now it's yours. <laughs> now I get to do whatever I want with it. <laughs> Destroy it. Mutilate it. Turn it into an NFT. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> I will say, nah, bra. <laughs> uh, Alessandra says, uh, Anna, did you see that the color of the year is pan? Uh, color of the year for Pantone is peach. How do you feel about it? Oh, uh, is it? Wait, say again sorry what, what wow that, peach i didn't know it was peach this year Neither or next year any of the years i've never thought of like a peach as well i mean pantone colors it can be any color so whatever um mm -hmm. but yeah the i love the color peach but i wonder because peach peaches if you're thinking of like a peach it <laughs> in your hand is like a million different colors so how did they decide what peach is oh sure 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 yeah I'm sure and I'm there's... a firm believer that there is no good or bad color. I love them all. True. That is true. It's the context. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> that makes I've seen that most of your um, cartoons on Instagram are grayscale. Is that by choice? That's by choice. Yeah. No. Um. You know, the magazine usually prints it in black and white. So that's usually what we stick to. But there mm -hmm. are color cartoons out there, especially... You know, if you need to use a color in the joke of a cartoon, you know, mm -hmm. um, there's like 
there's some violent cartoons where blood streaks are everywhere and it's just cooler to use red than, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, there's, there's definitely some color cartoons in there. Um, but I, I, yeah, sometimes a joke doesn't need to have color. So that's why we just stick to black and white. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's about the idea, the concept. It's all the about the idea. Communication of it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, I drew like a very wrinkly old beagle. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. The right? little dipstick tail reminds me of, is it Spot the dog? Do you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think so. Spot? Yeah, see Spot Run and all that. Indeed, yes. Yeah. So this is like almost like old age Spot. <laughs> wrinkly old bag. See Spot age. <laughs> <laughs> That's I like, that's a book for the elderly. Indeed, <laughs> yes. Yeah. We all feel it eventually. <laughs> we ah. have a poll up on YouTube about sending holiday cards if you want to participate. Uh, are you planning on sending a holiday card this year? What do you Me, think myself? Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, I I don't think I've ever sent out holiday cards before ever, ever in your life that's not like a tradition that my family grew up doing yeah 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 we taking never did sitting it. down and taking family portraits that's not something I've ever done really <laughs> that's not something you could do what? yeah <laughs> to... yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> Yeah, Ryan just said a funny thing. In our ears. Yeah, my it's it's celebrate my bro brother's day, and it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna send a photo of him to everyone. Absolutely, like yeah. celebrate Chris today. Uh -huh. Whatever else is happening today, ignore it. Okay, but yeah, Christmas, that, uh, Christmas uh, idea of getting a Holidays. card together always comes too late to me and the only reason I think about doing it now is pressure from peers not necessarily because of family tradition or anything because my family yeah. never did it. Mm -hmm. but as much as I love about... receiving cards <laughs> You're I never don't a giver. send them yeah <laughs> never a giver never ever yeah, selfish <laughs> so selfish about my <laughs> what if i just started attacking you like that like yeah you're just selfish clearly so <laughs> <laughs> do you do you do family updates like that is a whole interesting concept that i've never participated in either never done it you know always appreciated it though yeah. i always like seeing what people are up to on those cards and stuff sure angela just got into effort, med school yeah <laughs> And I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> all right. I imagine. Okay. So as artists, I'm sure you've mm -hmm. felt this before. A lot of people either assume that you do a certain thing or don't really understand what you do. However, okay. when you like have a my really father. big name, like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he still does not get it. I'm kidding. Well, having something that's like a big name, like the New Yorker, mm -hmm. that's got to give you some recognition, right? That does. Yes. So my parents actually only really understand that the New Yorker is a thing because they're flight attendants and they're like, that's a magazine that people leave behind in first class. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That's how they think of it. <laughs> yeah. And my mother, oh my gosh, my mother is like, I don't read it because it's such a liberal <laughs> uh, media. Um, wow. So I know. That is hilarious. Uh, but yes, it is. It is a pretty a notorious uh, magazine, and a lot of people have heard of it. And there's, you know, especially being in New York, there is a certain cred you can get when you meet other New Yorkers. Um, you know, I'm 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 doing a, some gigs this week where I have to do like Christmas um, corporate uh, mm -hmm. live drawing events. And these are the kinds of people who subscribe to the New Yorker. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, all these business guys. And um, yeah, so so they'll def there's definitely going to be some uh, some some. Hey, I have an idea for a cartoon. Can you <laughs> draw it for me and submit it? Of course. Yes. Yep, but so. also that's kind of the best case scenario, right? <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> people For recognize sure. what you do and it's like oh my gosh oh yeah that's nice that's definitely nice i don't know about if i care that much about 
their ideas. <laughs> oh, of course not. Yeah. No, I get the same thing with children's books. It's oh, always yeah. the parents who are like, I've actually had this idea for a while. I'm like, okay, so if you want to get your thing published, there's a lot I need to tell you. But if you're not into doing a lot, I can't just magically make it happen for you. <laughs> However, yep. um, for <laughs> a big industry. Yeah, for the New Yorker, I imagine they're just kind of throwing ideas left and right and imagining that you can like take it and run with it. Ryan's asking us a question. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, the New Yorker cartoonists, we tend to make um multiple cartoons a week uh, and pitching ideas for uh, for cartoons and it is very much like um pitching five a week um sometimes i'll pitch two cartoons sometimes and and be able to sell off of just two cartoons um but yeah we are we are making cartoons constantly and trying to come it's a numbers game it's definitely a numbers game ideas mm -hmm. are better in numbers um so, you know, you never know what's going to hit. You never know what's what feels right and what's in the zeitgeist. Um, Riz. Yeah, Riz. <laughs> Old beagles with droopy mouths. Obviously Christmas. Yeah, Christmas, of course. <laughs> I would love to see like a little story. Maybe this could be a zine or something where it's like my brother's my brother was born on Christmas. So we changed the holiday. <laughs> And then, like, make a whole alternate universe where it's all Christmas themed and everybody celebrates it, where it's just like, now I'm just like the people who are like, hey, here's an idea. <laughs> now you just made a Hallmark movie. <laughs> yes, we all celebrate yes. Christmas while you're yes. sleeping. <laughs> it's a Christmas movie, technically, still. Oh, I can't wait for Chris to find out. Why yeah. isn't Chris here? You should have him in stream. <laughs> I do love it when people's family shows up in the stream. I was going to ask you, are your parents going to show up today? Because you were talking about them before stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. They were not. They're not going to show up to Ryan's house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the chat, but yeah. <laughs> oh, in the chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, ding dong. We found where you're working today. <laughs> You we turned on your Apple you location. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I just uh, voted in. <laughs> I just voted in the uh, YouTube poll about Christmas cards, and I voted no, and it said that it's 50-50 split right now. So mm. <laughs> I guess everybody's kind of torn on whether they do it or not. Everyone's just emailing and sending, de sneaking into DMs. No oh, one's yeah. sending cards. Well, yeah. Is there an alternate thing that you would do? I love sending texts to friends on holidays and stuff. Just being For like, sure. hey, what are you up to? Super cash, not a bunch of pressure. If they don't respond, it's no big deal kind of thing. Um, but I feel like that's my way of keeping up. What do you think? Yeah, I'll send a text. Um, you know, I'm I'm thinking of when I usually send texts and I'm thinking of how like on New Year's Eve. <laughs> um yes. Doesn't everyone's like phones crash when you're trying to send Happy New Year to everyone? I don't know that. Oh, that's you've never done that. You've never texted Happy New Year's to like your parents and they don't get it until like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> See, I always assume that that's going to like happen at random times. I never really att like attributed it to something like that. Ah, like, oh, yes, the mass texting problem. Yeah, the satellites are overloaded. That's That's an interesting thing. Yeah. Uh, by the way, my Photoshop crashed again. Just <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but I did save the file, so I have something. Um, but it's gonna be black for a second. Everybody, hold your pants. Oh gosh, it happened. But now I know I can just open it up and reshare, so it's not gonna take nearly as long. Also, what is going on? We've got a bear in the uh, artwork. I love it. I've got Who is this? uh this is Santa in a bathtub. <laughs> Love it. What is Santa and, if not the ultimate bear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he's gonna he's got his phone here. <laughs> oh no, his phone. <laughs> his phone Don't is let us live here. in the bathtub. And he's forgotten that it's Christmas. And that he should <laughs> he be getting Christmas. ready to go to work. That's so sad. Yeah. Nobody's going to get their stuff. 
<laughs> Alessandra says, I love the New Yorker cartoonist. And Ryan says, then you uh, love Jeremy. <laughs> uh, oh, there's definitely it. a very fun subset of people who love New Yorker cartoonists. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Why wouldn't I you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you keep saying funny stuff, but nobody can hear you. <laughs> Yep. Just type or get yourself into the audio and you can be the third. A lot of like old ladies love New Yorker cartoonists. <laughs> that's what I'll yeah, that's what happens a lot is I'll I'll get a lot of like old ladies who are like charmed. Charmed and charming. Okay, excellent. I think it was zoomed out. There we go. I'm back, baby. Eggnog. <laughs> Ryan's That's reading Behance to us. Eggnog in the bathtub. Where That's disgusting. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, what is in eggnog? I've I don't drink, eggs. so I don't drink eggnog. Okay, Nog. so so we're drawing some eggs into his bathtub. Okay. Ew. Ew. It would go rancid <laughs> kind of quickly. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Although, I mean, would it be? delicious in the meantime you just sip on that <laughs> does he have a straw coming out of his mouth <laughs> i mean not too bad right yeah drinking his own bath water okay now that you put it like that that's <laughs> <laughs> eggnog bath water uh jim says how about some bubbles maybe santa has gas oh my wow. gosh you guys are making wow <laughs> I was not but, expecting hey, this to get this gross. You know, I guess that's what we get for mm -hmm. being here. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is Jeremy's first time on Adobe Live. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> put that whole man in the bathtub full of sludge and put bubbles in it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Eggnog. I All love right. the little candy striping on the uh, straw, though. I think you it's got very to. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay what if it's a little elf that's like scrubbing his back with one of those long sponge things wow a very ryan selvy looking elf maybe <laughs> <laughs> we were joking that ryan is the little elf working in the background because multiple times he's come around and been like yeah dealing with technical stuff Oh, and the YouTube poll is apparently currently 50% or 56% yes and 44% no. So somebody out there is sending cards mm. more. But I mean, also... I love the postal service. They deserve so much from us around this time of year. Exactly. I was about to rough. say this is a load that we're putting on these people, but also so support them it's i mean yeah it's more of a reason uh which again we should always support the postal service i'm right there with you mm -hmm. uh that <laughs> oh let's hear it <laughs> i'm sorry ryan ryan you're hilarious okay so let's ryan hear just said your in my postal ear service <laughs> story that um anna you can talk about your experience with the postal service uh every month and that is my patreon i send out postcards every month oh <laughs> very nice <laughs> thank you for the plug ryan <laughs> you know you really need your audio in here you're hilarious that's but, amazing uh, how many how many patreon subscribers do you have aka how many postcards are you sending out <laughs> Well, there are different tiers for different things. So people okay. who sign up for digital rewards, I have um, overall 25 people for like wow. all of it. But the ones who get postcards and stickers every month, um, it's what is it like 10 or 11 people right now? That's um, incredible. Which is like handleable. Uh, clearly, I I put a little bit too much into it. I like hand paint envelopes and stuff like that. And I'm like, I know I can't sustain this if a bunch more people sign up, but for now i really enjoy it so yeah 25 seems you know like the max i could do too <laughs> well if they were all getting mail yeah it would be a lot but yeah. um the people who sign up for digital rewards everybody uh has access to what you post I so see. say i cool. i post uh, wallpapers it's infinitely scalable so anybody can get that um and that's 
real good real good business stuffs yeah but Mm -hmm. um i love sending physical rewards there is something so special about it and especially when when people like like i'm sure you've experienced this if somebody's holding a magazine that you're published in in their hands doesn't that feel just amazing to have like it feels pretty great absolutely every time we get the magazine and we flip to our names and our page and it's just like we're really in here this is crazy (laughs) yeah it feels great would you say that is (laughs) um uh you know the funny thing about the new yorker is we never know when our cartoon is getting published they'll buy it it goes into a bank exactly and um it can be weeks it could be months Uh, i've had a cartoon that took years to get published um oh yeah oh yeah they pay us for it which is great but it does take uh, a while for some people even people's first times you know they'll say i sold a cartoon to the new yorker and it might not come out until a few months later oh, wow. um yeah and so they can't tell their parents until it really comes out or else they're going to be like where is it when's it coming <laughs> absolutely yeah the expectation yeah. there come on come on oh yeah so <laughs> Oh, yes. Ryan's giving us extra time because my crashes. <laughs> oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Ryan. Benevolent God. You are so, so there's kind. Santa. I don't know how much you can do with this. <laughs> uh, I I will do what I can. <laughs> I love yeah. the little elf just being like, mm. I've done this before. Not I'm so a slave. Uh, it's it, The alert on his phone is that you know, it's it's Christmas. <laughs> it's, <laughs> you're it's you're uh, forgetting something, buddy. Christmas, dummy. Come on. It was like, well, Chris was going to handle it this year. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> okay, so the idea with the snowman and Yeti duo, is there a concept here that I should be understanding? Um, Is there a concept for the snowman and Yeti? I have yeah, no like, idea. Like... Look at his Just... mouth. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, look at the Yeti's mouth. Maybe there's like, hmm. Uh, what can he be saying? He can be like, where did this come from? Um, Is this know, the Christmas magic I've been missing? Yeah. Uh, nice hair. Jack Frost. Jane Frost. Ooh, Jane Frost. <laughs> Jane Frost. <laughs> And the, um, the snowman's just like, hello, I am here. Hello, I have appeared to grant you <laughs> a Christmas <laughs> wish. What do Yetis like? I don't even know what Yetis like. I, I don't know what the lore of Yetis are. I have no idea. Yeah. Although I have watched multiple shows with Yetis in them. Mm-hmm. Um, they so... like snow cones. Monsters, Inc. They, Monsters, they like Inc. snow Classic. cones. Yes. Lemon yeah. Flavor. Do you have any Christmas movies that you have to watch? Have to? Um, I don't Every think year? Of... Okay, so growing up, we had mm-hmm. It's a Wonderful Life and um, uh, Christmas Carol, the one with the leg lamp. We would okay. watch that all the time. But as an uh... adult, I haven't gone back to them as much as I usually would. Yeah. Um, but I watch Home Alone. Usually. Home Alone. Love that's, Home Alone. That's the classic one. Indeed. Yeah. But honestly, I'll watch whatever's on. What about you? Um Elf is Elf, you know, classic, I think is one classic. of the latest classics. Newest. <laughs> I mean I think it's old enough now to be a classic, although we don't remember it from our childhood. But right. Still. I was definitely in high school, I think, when that came out. Maybe. Nice. Maybe not. Maybe I was in like seventh grade. Um yeah, and then um of course love actually that's my brother's favorite i've never seen it love actually yeah the rom-com the british rom-com with hugh grant and (laughs) are you sure (laughs) and jude law and jack black and oh that's uh... a different one that's the holiday oh okay that's the holiday that's the holiday with cameron diaz oh is that kira knightley yes kira knightley in the famous scene where the, um, the, the, Andrew yeah. Andrew Stant Andrew the guy Lincoln Andrew Lincoln from The Walking <laughs> Dead. I'm pretty good with celebrities and names. Okay, time's up. Oh my gosh! I drew okay. a narwhal because the narwhal is uh, is big and elf. All right, I have to do one last thing. 
So you can take the narwhal. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Made it like a Doctor Freeze from Batman. Oh, Doctor Freeze. Hey, hey, hey! All right, All right. which one are you passing off? You're passing, passing off the narwhal. Right. <laughs> the the famous Hope Christmas you narwhal. Yeah, Hope classes. you find your dad. Hope you there find you your dad. <laughs> Everybody, quote Elf quick. Yeah. Everyone's got to say it. Thank you for the image. Hello, everyone. Here's so yours there's back. Love Actually. What else do we watch? Yeah, I do want to rewatch the I holiday. The sorry, wait. Keeps... Hold on. Oh, go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. Uh, sorry. Go on. <laughs> I didn't mean the to holiday. Pause <laughs> the holiday keeps keeps getting removed from different streaming <laughs> services, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not paying for this this movie. Oh, that's sad. I just am like, it'll be on, you know, Max in. <laughs> February, probably. When you want to watch it in February. Yeah. Christmas movies need to hit streaming for free in December. That is my hot take. Oh, hot take coming in. Coming in fast. Yeah. So, so for some reason, the file that I sent you is in CMYK, but I switched it and I'm going to send you a new one. <laughs> oh, what what are you sending me? Is this the if... same image, just not CMYK? I don't know oh, exactly why mine was uh, okay. like that. But... So now the Christmas Yeti will be a spring, <laughs> a <laughs> summer Yeti. <laughs> summer Yeti. Oh, yeah. Okay, now right. now we're cooking with gas. Oh, yeah. So am I supposed to do more to this Yeti? Let's see. Whatever you want. Whatever you could possibly think of. Okay. Looks wow, like that we time went so fast. Oh, my goodness. It right. um, I'm going to check out the chat because, sorry, <laughs> you guys have been trying to deal with everything technical. Uh, Anthony Sim says snow cones. Snow cones snow are delicious, cones. I think, when we were talking about Yetis. Uh, Jim says Yeti looks like he's going to have a snowman snack. Absolutely. And also, uh... Lonnie is asking to please give the Yeti a thumb on his right paw. Right <laughs> paw. So I tried yes, to throw one in yes. there, just like a little. Uh, wait, that's go. the wrong side. Yeah. Wait, oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. This is this should not be a paw. There we go. There we yeah. go. Thank so you. Thank here you, thank it you. is. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Brian's in our ear being like, "No, no, you're." Wait, that is the wrong side. <laughs> so we'll just get oh, rid man. of that. Yeah. Uh, Z says the Yeti could be saying, "I only ordered three scoops." <laughs> like, this is an ice cream cone. <laughs> ah, I like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, like, Muppet Christmas Carol is the best. Absolutely agree. I need Muppet to watch that Christmas one as well. Carol, yes, that is fabulous. No cheeses for the Mises. Okay, Narwhal. I'm gonna put some magic coming out of the horn. So Ooh. now it is a Christmas cone with some yummy chocolate drippings. Ooh yeah, yummy chocolate drippings. <laughs> I love it's it. Such a Oh yeah. my gosh. Jack in the chat saying hi 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 Ryan. <laughs> and Ryan saying hi 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 Jack. Okay. Hi 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 hi. Oh man. Um Sean says the thumb is on the wrong side. FYI. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Sean. We got you saw that. it before we did. Nice. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, that's think. that's the high quality of uh attention to detail that you get from Anna Davis Court. Uh <laughs> <laughs> all your fans. Uh, well, now we're all Jeremy fans. This is the first time you've been on Adobe <laughs> Live, but definitely won't be the last if you want to come back. Yeah, I'll awesome have to come happening. back. Yeah, we'll have to do Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Making it all yeah. holiday themed. I would not mind being a holiday guest. Absolutely. I love the uh, holiday stuff. It's been really fun this year coming up with um a variety of, like I was saying, like uh, a plethora of different holiday-esque stuff but not necessarily like straight up holiday how do you um, mean what give me some examples so like if i were to design um i, I was asked to make the yule log video uh okay the, the we have on adobe live if you check out the youtube channel you can see uh wade and mine were posted last night and there will be more coming and uh that was kind of like a not specific holiday but just holiday winter season kind of feel mm. and uh so i did like garland over the fireplace bells and uh you know candles things like that that are like 
just of the season not necessarily only christmas or only hanukkah or anything like that sure that's cool yeah <laughs> it's fun i like uh like stretching those kind of like muscles of thinking what else could be here yeah I feel like so many people are into astrology that like astrology should have a holiday. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I love that. That would be fun, honestly, because, yeah, I feel like a lot of people could, uh, you know, astrologically find meaning in it. But it's also yeah. just too, it's fun to participate in regardless. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who are like, oh, such a Gemini or whatever, but like don't necessarily <laughs> believe in everything that comes with it. Yeah. Such but. a Gemini on July 26th. <laughs> and then something happens to you if you're a Gemini. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Speaking of Gemini, my friend Anthony, who is a Gemini, says uh, the chat is Jeremy's new mom and dad. <laughs> oh <my laughs> uh, he also says, we love Jeremy. We support his decision to be an artist. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Big hug from awesome. the chat. Awesome. Will the chat also pay my student bill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on. Put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Speaking of mouth, I just opened up this narwhal's mouth so you can say something. So oh, uh, nice. <laughs> uh, I hope your dad thinks that you're a decent artist. <laughs> I hope he it. gets your weird New Yorker jokes. All right, I have the Yeti saying too many sprinkles. <laughs> too many sprinkles. Send it back. Send it back send it back because <laughs> it's snowing get it because it's snowing on his on his ice cream cone I, it's too goofy very goofy but we made it work absolutely i'm gonna make this into like a candy cane horn Candy canes, another thing. Oh, man. Cute. A candy queen horn. So he's got like a hook almost uh, instead of a horn. <laughs> yeah, we can hook it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He pulls other narwhals off stage when they're not being. <laughs> get the hook. Get it? Get you the don't hook. Smell like it used to, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cute. Oh, wow. Now so he's cute. a very Christmassy narwhal. Well, of course, because narwhals are classically Christmas animals. Mm -hmm. now the elf is part of you know the lore so as a children's book illustrator was there a big trend of like narwhal books coming out did you ever notice that uh i felt I... like narwhals were hot for a season <laughs> they were hot uh there are definitely trends especially with animals but i okay. wasn't around for it so i can't say necessarily ah. that, that was uh the one but it's funny, I worked on a book that's called Not a Book About Bunnies because there is such a trend of bunnies in books. Bunnies right now, huh? Interesting. Bunnies are hot. Bunnies are hot. Hansel is so hot. Yeah. Whoever's uh, the agent for bunnies is just like <laughs> exactly. rolling in it. Job. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that cool. is one of those things that uh, it does come in and out of fashion to have certain animals for sure. How strange. It'll be Year of the Dragon in 2024. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. I love drawing. Yeah. Games, so. Yeah. It's going to be a good one. Do I just things? missed like being that. Year of the Dragon. I think I was born in 1989, so that's Year of the Snake, but 1988 was Year of the Dragon. Oh, so close. But snakes, I, I mean, they're kind of like dragons. So, so. I know, right? Yeah, they're like dragons <laughs> without least... wings. I love serpentine dragons where it's like oh, true. super long, loopy guys. <laughs> yeah. Is that Do you more like of a dragon an... with like wings? I'm sure I'm sure yeah, like the classic European ones, but yeah, I do like the uh all the Legend of Zelda dragons that are yes! floating yes, exactly. through the sky. Yeah. I love them yeah, so much. The Asian style dragons. Absolutely. Uh, we were just playing Zelda last night and every single time I see a dragon, I'm like, stop everything. Look at it. <laughs> I know. It's funny. You just hear the music sometimes and you're just like, oh, Absolutely. I need to find it. I need to find it. Right now. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's very of course, majestic. My partner's like, shoot it with an arrow. And I'm like, no. <laughs> be we need his talons. <laughs> I need to come up with some cool armor and upgrade it at the Great Fairy. Exactly. Yeah. Anybody who hasn't played Zelda, 
yeah it's amazing doesn't understand to say. Yeah. <laughs> oh anthony in the chat says uh 89 because he was also born in 89 and 89 we're, baby we're little baby dragons <laughs> yeah there were so many children born in 89 oh really oh yeah whenever you know whenever i think back about like my class sizes they were always bigger than like class of 90 mm-hmm. class of 91 we always had more students than the other grade levels interesting and that's what makes it harder to get into college is if you get a year with a big baby boom big old baby boom Mm -hmm. uh you went to college i went to savannah college of art and design in georgia yeah any other scaddies out here scaddies scad i know it's so gross (laughs) scaddies is so gross (laughs) um (laughs) Yeah, no, I uh, I enjoyed my department. I went to a, a department called uh, Sequential Art. Ooh, um, yes. yeah, Love and that. a lot of illustrators transferred and animators transferred into Sequential Art. Um, and I really liked the city. I really liked the department. I think the school is a little, you know, most people are like the schools are kind of oh, not so great. Sad. Yeah, the administration <laughs> is a little funky. Um, As it is want to be, usually. Yeah, <laughs> but I really, and, you know, I'll, I'll go back every couple of years and say hi to all my teachers and stuff. Nice. It's a really great town to go to um, and visit if you haven't been. Haven't been. I want to go check haven't it out. Been. Yeah. I've heard good things about, uh, well, the, yeah, what you're saying, basically, like the schooling at it, but not necessarily mm-hmm. the uh, <clears throat> school itself. <laughs> yeah but that's yeah. the way it goes you know we all have something to complain about in the system My <laughs> did you go to college did you go to oh, art yeah. school or anything i went to the art institute of portland and it oh, doesn't cool. exist anymore oh no <laughs> so i don't get to revisit old school days other than going to the ben and jerry's down the street because we wow more than the school honestly <laughs> does your degree like Tur- burst Just into flames into dust. It, like, <laughs> on the wall one minute gone the next <laughs> wow oh no no it's still uh it's i'm accredited or whatever but sure, honestly sure. in art i've never been asked for it nobody, nobody asks for it <laughs> nobody gives a crap they're the like way, can you a- draw elephants yeah like exactly that. draw me an elephant that's your accreditation mm-hmm. um we only have a few minutes left so uh where can people find your work just by the way i want to let people know yeah so my website is jeremywinslife.com and it's j-e-r-e-m-y-w-i-n-s-l-i-f-e.com and then my instagram is uh also just jeremy wins j-e-r-e-m-y uh w-i-n-s um amazing it's like I'm a character in Mortal Kombat and I just killed you. So Jeremy wins. <laughs> Fatality. Fatality. <laughs> Babality. That was my favorite one. Babality. Oh, where he I turns you that. into a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I was around for that one. I only played yeah. like the old ones. Is that new? They're so dumb. I love them. <laughs> They're so stupid. They're the Fast and the Furious of the video game franchise. They're Absolutely. So stupid. I had a dream so that I watched dumb. Fast and Furious and I've never seen it, but I had a dream about it. So. <laughs> then in your mind, in your in your mind grapes. <laughs> you don't know if never you've seen never it. seen Fast and Furious, you could have been dreaming of the holiday instead. Oh, darn it. I missed the opportunity. <laughs> it's so funny because I actually had a lucid dream not too long ago. And now mm-hmm. I'm like, maybe I can just make up movies in my dreams. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, mm-hmm. let's totally. show off our uh our our artworks for a second. You've Cute. got too many sprinkles and tons of snowflakes. Oh, I love it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's amazing. The, and your narwhal. Snow. I hope yes, your dog narwhal. accepts your dreams. <laughs> Did you say snarwhal? I love that. Snow to narwhal. Snow narwhal. Oh, should a we get snar? Oh, there should be more. Snowflakes have some well. yeah. Have some wintry breath coming out of his mouth. With white. Out of his nose? Out of his nose, out of his mouth. 
Yes. So uh, thank you so much for being here, Jeremy. This has been a joy. We've had uh, a lot of talks about New Yorker stuff. <laughs> uh, and we would love to have you back to talk some more on future lives. Speaking of which, we've got a whole day lined up in front of you. Ryan's going to be running so much awesome streaming coming up. So definitely stay tuned. Thank you for being here. And we will see you again very soon. Bye. Much love. <laughs>